Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Craig Peters here from Sound Iron, and in today's walkthrough, we're gonna be checking out the newest installment in the Sonospheres series, Sonospheres 4 Direction. Sonospheres 4 Direction is the newest installment in a series of collaborations with film and TV composer Blake Ewing. This volume is an absolute inspiration machine and works perfectly alongside styles like modern classical, ambient, and other types of film score material. This brand new all organic source material takes shape beautifully in the form of felted pianos, guitar, strings, mallets, and even classic 80s synths. Sonospheres 4 Direction comes packed with a bunch of inspirational handcrafted sonic textures all created by Blake himself. So without further ado, let's dive in and start checking out some of the sounds and features that come within the new Sonospheres 4 Direction. Alright, so for those of you that are current owners of any of the other Sonospheres libraries, you'll see that the UI is a little bit different, but all of the same feature sets are pretty much there. So I'm going to give you a brief overview. So right here you have layers 1 and layers 2, and both of these contain the same articulation and sound sets, and then you have a layer here for subsynth. So if you want to do any X fade or cross fading, you just go right here and then you can utilize the X fade assigned so you can choose which layer you want to fade into and we'll go over that a little bit later. So right now, before we start diving into any of the other features, I want to go ahead and play for you some of the different sounds that come with the library. There's a lot of really beautiful and cinematic felt pianos. So let's just go ahead and dive in and check out some of those. So if you'd like to cycle through the different sound categories of this library, you just go to this drop down right here. You'll see that you have guitar, mallets, pianos, strings, synths, box, and even some field percussion, which is great for adding movement into your track. So for now, let's just explore some of the more piano sounds that come with the library.
All right, so now let's go ahead and check out some of the mallet sounds. And a lot of these sounds have a very natural cinematic quality to it and it's very inspirational and really starts to generate some ideas when you first start playing a few notes. Now let's check out some of the strings. All right, now let's go ahead and check out some of the guitar sounds.
All right, so now let's go ahead and check out some of the different synth sounds that come with the library, and these are all based off of classic 80s synthesizers. And you can see when I have this sound loaded up, there's a tempo sync right here. And this allows you to sync it to your tempo, or you can turn it off. And if you turn it on, you have a few options here from normal, double, and half. So let's just try half and see how this sounds. <laughs> Now let's go ahead and have a listen to some of the different vocals that come with the library. All right, so now let's go ahead and check out some of the different field kit recordings, and these are great for adding movement or creating some sort of percussive rhythms behind your tracks amongst all of these other ambient sounds. So you can really create a whole track using just this library. So let's go ahead and check out some of these.
That was the field kit one. Now let's go ahead and check out the field kit two. And if you want to take any of these sounds and map them across the entire keyboard, you can do that right here. You just go ahead and select this, press the key that you want. Let's choose this sound and now we can almost get like a natural kick drum kind of sound. So with this multi-layered user interface, it allows you to mix and match and combine and even crossfade between different layers and sound sources. So right now for layer one, I have this piano sound and this is the default sound that comes when you open up the library. So I like that sound. Now, some of the other string sounds I think would be really cool to, to combine with. And let's just find one of the strings. And uh, these arcs sounded really nice. So let's do that, and then I'm going to go into the effects rack. I'm going to turn on some reverb. So you can play those together just like that, or you can actually use the X fade. So if you want to start with a piano and then maybe swell in with some strings, you can do that too. So for layer one, I'm going to keep this on none. And then what I'm going to do is go to layer two, which is going to be our strings. I'm going to set that to layer B. I'm going to go ahead and learn my mod wheel. There we go. So now I have this piano. And now I can fade in some strings so you can get a little bit more movement going on. icy and cold sound. So let's play around. Let's go ahead and leave this piano loaded up and then I'm going to find some other sounds to go ahead and uh, layer on top. And then if you want to add a little bit more movement and motion into your sound, you can go into the sub synth and then go into the advanced tab, which then has LFO filtering and arpeggiation. Let's go ahead and turn the arpeggiator on and then let's go ahead and set this to layer B. We already have that set, so I'm going to go ahead and just start at the bottom of the mod wheel, play up, and then hear how the sounds evolve. Alright, so before we wrap up this video, I want to go ahead and play for you some of the custom effects presets that Blake made for this library. There's 20 to choose from, and these are all designed to just get the inspiration flowing and let you start scoring and writing music right away. So let's go ahead and play through some of these now.
Alright, so that about wraps up this walkthrough for Sonnet Spheres 4 Direction. If you'd like to learn more about the library or any of the other volumes in the Sonnet Spheres series, make sure to go to soundiron.com. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on future videos like these, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.